Well, good afternoon, folks. Cap guy got back from yard selling again. Ivan told you to take me yard selling. Well, Ivan can take you yard selling because I'm not getting locked up for talking to you while I'm out yard selling. Yeah, but then I can get some new clothes, not Target clothes. Well, I'm not taking you yard selling because people will look at me funny. They look at you funny now. <laughs> You're talking to one right now. You're talking to me. Uh, it's not the same out in public. They don't know me. The people on YouTube know me. I still think you're goofy. <laughs> That's probably true. That's probably true. So what did you find today? More crap that you're not going to list? <laughs> you better stop. I'm going to put that gorilla mask. All right, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, you need a haircut. I know I do. And tomorrow is my mom's birthday party. Are we going to do a video? Yeah, if we do, it'll be early. Because you do a video every day. I know, I know. You ready to get on what we sold? We already did that this morning. You did? Yeah, you were sleeping. Snoring logs. Sawing logs. Hmm. I was dreaming of beet and egg and hamburger sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever, Nate. You ain't never had a beet on a sandwich with an egg and a burger? Nope. Don't plan on it. It might taste good, but I ain't tried it. Oh, it's great. It's great, mate. <laughs> okay. Man Mountain Lake, try that beet and egg sandwich. If you like beets and an egg and a burger and buns. Yeah, hey, baby, I'll try it out. Tell us what you think. We use him as a guinea pig. <laughs> he he got you some subscribers last night. Yeah, he helped me out. I appreciate it, too. All right, folks, let's get on what he sourced since I slept through the soul part of it. Anyway, second video today. Thumbs up. You know what to do. All right. <clears throat> Again, no particular order. I spent $157 today. And some of the things I got... This is a Timex motorcycle clock, and I did comp it. It's $2, and I paid that. I got to dust it off and things, but uh, it's about a 25 or so uh, clock. This is still in the plastic. Of course, it needs to be wiped off really good. Still got the tags. It is Logo Athletic Dallas Cowboys, so that'd be about 90s, maybe early 2000s. Um, I gave a buck for that. And I paid uh, 28 at this yard sale for everything you're going to see here in just a second. Some Garfield cards and stationery from 1978. I did not comp some of this stuff because I know that that's going to be worth more than what I paid for it. Here's a pretty cool looking puzzle. It's a again and again jigsaw puzzle, but it's 19... Boy, Bobby, you got to get your glasses on when you start doing this looking at stuff. <clears throat> Y'all, when you get my age... You're going to need them reading glasses, too. Um, I know I saw a year on it. 1981. But the graphics on this thing are pretty cool. So there you go. And basically probably about a buck for that. I'm trying to do this. This Scrabble game is brand new in the package. Uh, sealed. And it is not real valuable, but uh, hey... For what I paid, this one is 19 and seven, 2007. Not real old. And then this thing, I didn't know what it was. Um, maybe uh, Captain Kirk can tell me or Nate. Um, it, it, I'm sure it's Chinese, but it had a lot of anime stuff on it. So I thought for $2, I'll grab that. So I did. Um, what else did I get? Uh, at the last one, and, and this was an estate sale, I bought a... She had a bag of Game Boy games, and it turns out there's a Sega in here, too. Um, they wanted $50 for the bag, and there's one, two, three, four, or seven games. I just now got through doing sold comps on these, and it comes out to about $110, so I'll double my money. The most valuable is Gargoyles uh, on Game Boy. I've got Mega Man 2, Kirby's Dream Land. That's not very valuable. Streets of Rage uh, 2 on Sega. 
Then back to Game Boy, I got Ninja Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan, Mario Land, Super Mario Land 2, Bart Simpson Escape from Camp Deadly, and Super Mario Land. So $50, $50 for all that. And I comped it. It's about 110 and sold comps. And then I paid a dollar for this. This is single stitch on a Screen Stars tag. It needs a little cleaning up. But this is a Barry Switzer football 90s, um, 80s, 90s uh, t-shirt. And I guarantee that'll sell. Guarantee even with stains in it. At that other sale, when I spent the $28 for everything you've seen except for the Game Boy stuff, they talked me into buying this 1965, and you can tell there's a year here, 65. I did comp it, and it looks like these go for about $17, $18. That's that good old Mountain Dew, them that refuse it or few. I'll shut up my mug if you fill up my jug with that good old Mountain Dew. That's some redneck stuff, ain't it? Um... I paid a buck for the D Marini bat, and I'll comp it. I did preliminary comp it. Uh, I think it could be anywhere from $20 to $200. I've got to really dig down on that one and find the model number. But just a preliminary, that's kind of where it was, and that's kind of broad, I know. All right. I only grabbed these because they were old. These are flags that you fly off your car. This one's a 1990. Eight Dallas Cowboys, and this is a Rangers, 1990, I believe, five was what I saw on it. Six, 1996. So, again, I gave like a buck a piece for those, or 50 cents a piece. Um, I got this for $5. It is a Logo Athletic A&M, Texas A&M Aggies start, or jacket. I was about to say starter, it's not starter. But there you go, it's in really good shape. This, 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 these ladies happen to be from where my family's from. And uh, I kept buying, and they kept asking me to buy. And I spent 28 bucks, and that's part of that $28, that jacket. Stanley Cup 99, Dallas Stars. A vintage Houston Astros, the old Astrodome logo. Now, all these hats are vintage. Uh, here's another Dallas Stars, the old logo. This one... And I don't know what this is. W, I don't know if that's some kind of a course or something. I don't know. Model 70 pre, I'll figure it out. But it's K Products. I saw that, so I grabbed it. And what else? Another hat. Another, uh, this one's another really cool, like a wool Dallas Stars with a hockey player on the front. And there you go. And then this glove, this is a Rawlings RBG4 with Steve Avery's name on it. There you go. And this one looks like it's about a $28 glove. And then from that same place, I got all these vintage t-shirts. Um, there you go. And some of them have a couple of condition issues, but they're vintage. This is Conference Champs 95, Dallas Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? Um, I paid two dollars for this apron. It is Coca-Cola and Rangers. So again, it'll be going to probably more of a Coca-Cola fan than a Rangers because I don't think we have a lot of fans. Um, here's another vintage. Uh, there you go, NHL, Dallas Stars t-shirt. And again, this vintage stuff is what you're looking for. Here's a really nice old uh, Russell Athletic uh, high cotton Dallas Cowboys sweatshirt, and again, this whole bunch except for what you've seen in the in the Game Boys is twenty eight bucks until I tell you otherwise. So pay attention. Here's another Dallas Stars, and I'll wash all these because they've been in boxes. This one I got kind of was just kind of cool. Uh, Woody's longboards, Hawaii. So, if that fits me, that'll be mine. Here's another. Well, this is a Dallas Mavericks on the old logo as well, vintage 90s. And it's a starter tag. And we're getting down to the nitty gritty on the t-shirts. Uh, this one, I didn't know what it was, but it is single stitch. 
and it's some kind of an art, uh, E-R-T-E, but it's 1977, and it's brand new, so I'll figure that out. Uh, this one is Matco Tools, and I don't know if this one is vintage or not. They ripped the tag out of it, so it probably is. Um, there you go, and there you go. Let's see if that's single. No, that's double stitch. It's not that vintage. And it don't have to be double stitched to be vintage. Here's an anvil tag. There you go. And this one's got a player, Barnes. I'm assuming he played in the 90s. I'm not familiar with him. The one that everybody knows is Mike Madonna. And then this was a really cool, different Tommy Hilfiger shirt. And again, I gave 50 cents a t-shirt. So there you go. And then... I think that's it from that sale, if I remember right. Yes, it is. That's 28 bucks. I went to another sale, the back to where the, the barn thing I went to yesterday, and he brought out the posters he promised he would. And I've got a bunch of Marvel from the early 2000s. Uh, I've got the Mighty Avengers, number one. I've got Wolverine, number one. Um, who else do I have here? They're all from like 2000 to 2007. There might be even some early 90s in there. I, I grabbed all the ones that I had duplicates of, so I only have to do one listing. Um, they're all DC and Marvel. This one's Justice Society. Um, this one is Thor. I've got, I think, an X-Men Fantastic Four. And I gave, he wanted five a piece, and I bought 20 of them for $3 a piece. So I spent 60 bucks. But they're all brand new. And the ones I did comp, um, let's see, right here. I got a bunch of these ones. Um, the Justice Society, number one. Looks like they go for about 18 a piece. And they're 2007 as well. And they're all brand new. I'm going to have to open one of them just to be able to show them. Um, what else did I get? Oh, <laughs> I got two of these, and I don't know what the value is, but I gave um, a couple of bucks a piece. They're old beverage containers like Man Mountain Link buys, except these got Coca-Cola and Santa Claus on them. They're brand new in the package. They're Auto King, and I got two of them sealed in the package. They're a little wiping off. They're dusty, and uh, I paid $2 a piece for those, and that was part of that $28 deal too. And then the last thing I'm going to show you I'm going to bring you over here. This is the Mary Kay lot that I got yesterday. And just so you see what I paid $15 for. There's some moisturizer mask, clarifying mask, revitalizing mask. Y'all sure need a lot of masks. And I'm not saying nothing bad. There's some other stuff. That's all lipstick. I think those are like the samples that they do when they're showing the stuff. There's some more. F2, 3... And these over here on the left are all nail polishes. I don't think they have a ton of value, but the Jure looks like it may be used, and this time-wise may be used, this moisturizer, age-fighting. And then I found one medium coverage, which I've been selling those for about $15. So that's uh, quite a bit for $15. And I've already went through it and made sure that it wasn't used. I'll go through it again as I list it. But uh, that's what I got to do today. I got to list because... Uh, I know there's some more stuff I got. Because this ain't the end of it. Oh, here we go. Okay. Video games. A dollar. And again, I don't know. I don't know what that's worth. Um, here's another one I paid a dollar for. It's Fighters Uncaged on 360. And again, I'll give a dollar for any video game. Um... I did give five for this. He wanted 17, but I comped it and it's, it comps for about $18. Um, I got a dollar a piece for these and I've never seen it before. I was hoping that would have some value, but it's not real valuable. This one's probably the more valuable of that group of the three that I got that are PS2. That was pretty cool. And then this one I didn't even comp yet, so I don't know what it's worth, but I, I'm, I'm not thinking that it's worth a lot. But again, I will grab them. Alright, just about done here. Ah, this is what happens. 
when you bury it under a bunch of uh, posters. Because I know you guys want to see the other video games I got. V. And then this one was original Xbox. I haven't comped this one either. I'm wondering what that's for. But I gave a quarter for that. So I will take it all day long. And I think that's all my video games. It is. And that's $157. Most of it was the Game Boys. But again, I comped them and they comp at about $110. So I've already got a couple sales today. I will talk to y'all early in the morning. I appreciate you as always. And I'm sorry I got a second video, but I figured you wanted to see the sourcing. And I will run some clips of the yard sales I went to uh, tomorrow morning on the video that I do tomorrow on the what sold. So there you go, folks. Have a great day.